I do think that there are some inherent issues with the APR and its application. And we see that with the impact that you look at the statistics for, for the last decade, for example, and you have HBCUs that are 43 times more likely to be banned from postseason and to be subjected to these penalties than a predominantly white institution. We also know that the, there are other studies that show that even when you control for things like, uh, when you control for things like resources, that it actually, race comes out as a big factor in that determination. Does that mean resources aren't important? Absolutely not. In fact, we know that the predominantly white institutions have a lot more resources to make sure that their student athletes are able to meet those, those measures. So our lawsuit is basically saying, this is, this is a systemic form of discrimination. When you have this history of, of penalizing basically HBCUs for taking the students that may be at risk, students that are maybe first generation, students that, uh, that may not have had the same resources before college, when they come to college and HBCU's mission is really to serve those students. And so they're penalized coming into the gate by the NCAA because of where they started from. And the NCAA's measurements, quite frankly, don't really even measure accuracy of their, of their educational attainments.